This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Stay tuned for more programming on ACTV Cable 21. The Secret Square. Could it be? Bob Denver. Karen Valentine. Walt. The Cast of Soap. Henry Winkler. Mr. Ed and Wilbur. Marty J. Wiley. Mark Schmidbauer. And in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... Tuesday at 6, Wednesday at 10, Thursday at 3. At Darren Pamela Ferdin. Um, oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um, Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. The world of 60s and 70s television. Welcome to Vast Wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. It's a beautiful day for public access. I'm Mark Schmidbar along with Wilbert Neal and Marty Wiley here on Vast Wasteland, the video journal of 60s and 70s TV. And tonight, here we're talking about TV sports. Ah, that's right. But first, before we get into the big exciting action, we need to tell you that we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV Cable 21. Also, if you want to write into us, you want to write into box 15, 14, 11, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Right, right. Right there. <laughs> well, TV sports. Uh, uh, certainly want to get another one of these staples OTV, certainly any more. Uh, yeah. One of the big staples of TV on the weekends. I don't know what hey. the networks would do for it's that. It's got a whole channel now. That's right. <laughs> Well, they've tried several channels, actually. I, I think, actually, there's, a, there's a, a regional, like a southeast regional sports channel. <laughs> <laughs> and, so people are nuts about sports. In fact, they just, uh, I don't know if it stayed on for very long. There was a sports news network. No sports actually being played. Just news me. about sports. 24 hours a day. <laughs> all the scores, all the time. <laughs> That's right. But not much else. <laughs> So people are nuts about sports, and uh, it's it's something that it's uh, American. It, hmm? It's American. It's American. That's what it is. It's American. It's pretty much. Oh, thank God, it, it's worldwide now. <laughs> inter intertwined with all of broadcasting now, uh, and and when it began, 
it really didn't work very well. <laughs> Probably not. At, at the beginning of TV sports, just because the technology wasn't there to, to, I mean, the first sports that really worked well were stuff like boxing because, you know, it's this little area and people can't move around an enormous amount and you basically just lock down a camera and point it at the ring and that's about it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> I mean, if you look at um, pretty much what they have, like the newsreel, things for right. football and you got them all running out there at lightning speed right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right in the old days of course then they didn't have all the, all the heavy equipment that you, they wear now so they were able to run that much faster. right <laughs> and then they, but, but when you looked at stuff like baseball baseball in early tv was like a joke yeah because <laughs> it was basically it was kind of taking the the metaphor of boxing and just saying, well, it's just a really big area we're going to lock the camera down on. <laughs> the entire field. <laughs> well, they didn't want to be right down there, you know, if they right. sit down there with the umpire and uh, the shortstop, the right. ball would come back there and <laughs> hit <Boom>. the camera. <laughs> now they do that. Right. Now they're... Now it's like, you know, field cam. <laughs> well, actually, this year, I, I read that um, for either for the All-Star game or for something, they're going to have a... Uh, they're going to have the, like this pencil-sized camera inserted in one of the bases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll be smart. Yeah. Well, the, Base the, cam. Is it the World Football League that has, it, has the uh, helmet, helmet cam? cam. Yeah. Helmet cam. <laughs> For all the good that does. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen it. It's kind of neat looking. Well, it, it, is, it, it is an interesting concept. I'll yeah. give you that. But don't let that person get tackled. Yeah. <laughs> they've got to have little... They do. That's they've what's weird have, about it. <laughs> They gotta have like uh, blinders and things around right. them. Cameraman, right. cameraman, <laughs> do not Whoa, tackle me. Us. It's like he's like he's the uh, the Red Cross of the football right. field. <laughs> I am <laughs> I am not to be hit. Yeah, don't do hit me. Do not hit me. <laughs> of course, on the other hand, we have we have uh, uh, road race. You know, like uh, racing. Oh where, yeah. Where I mean, there's only one reason they put cameras in cars so they can get a you know a, a first person view of a crash right you know because the the regular view of them zipping around the track is not particularly interesting because it's like behind the guy's head and all you see is you know <laughs> it's only when there's an accident really that it's, it's really interesting it's like, whoa i gotta avoid that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm waiting for hole in one cam a little pencil sized camera inside the hole on the and then when the so you can see the ball dropping and, and it would just go black <laughs> Ooh. Actually, they'll probably put it on the flag, you know. <laughs> and Bowling ball cam. <laughs> <Ooh. Ooh. laughs> it'll probably be like crown cam, you know, yeah. on the crown there. On the okay. Thing, so they'll see the ball come in. <laughs> it had to be a wide angle lens, too. That, who, that'd be great. Whose idea, since you guys have books, whose idea was to put mm -hmm. golf on TV? <laughs> I don't know. I want the person responsible. Well, somebody, <laughs> oh, somebody in Britain. Some, somebody who is <laughs> well, no. with no life, apparently. <laughs> because and, and what's the and what is the deal with the with the golf announcers talking so soft? Like like they're not two miles away in a broadcast booth. Oh, we don't want to we don't want anyone to hear them. Let's, let's go to seventeen. Yeah, you know, it's got to be just as quiet out here as That's possible. Right. We don't want to disturb the little animals. I'm, I'm ten miles away right now, but <laughs> now I'm across sorry. the street in a 7-Eleven. <laughs> no, in somewhere in a hotel room watching right. it on. <laughs> I'm watching this on TV, even as you are. Right. <laughs> but still, yes. I'm being soft and quiet. I don't want to wake my father and mother. <laughs> oh man! And of course, the biggest example is uh, well. Uh, for those of you watching at home, the four or five people actually watch this program. Of course, if you're not watching you're, at home, well, yeah, then you I guess care. you wouldn't see yeah. the show. <laughs> that, they could be at a friend's house. Yeah. Well, somebody's home. Right. <laughs> that uh, uh, the Olympics is going on now for us, and uh, I've been just watching that for intently. For us and the rest of the world, too. That's right, just for no, us. No, no, they're having, they're having these, <laughs> these special these personalized Olympics, Olympics just for us. <laughs> that's, that's the, the vast wasteland you Olympics. Well, you, you dial can't, in. You can't be in it unless your name is... Wilbert, Mark, or Marty. That's right. Special, this, special, it's special Olympics. Olympics. <laughs> and I mean, when when they rerun this show, by golly, it'll be real special because everybody's like, well, yeah, I remember that. that? But it'll, it's still going on right That's now. That's right, for us. for us. It's like a time thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you were saying. Right. Well, this this whole Olympic thing, it, it, it's, it just seems like now that, uh, when you consider that in 1960, when they first televised the Olympics, it was mm -hmm. like for five hours or something and mm -hmm. it was all film and it was Walter Cronkite 
standing uh -huh. in front of a blackboard and saying, well, here's what the medals are right now. <laughs> and now, pretty much broadcasting controls the Olympics. Yes. <laughs> Completely. And stars are made, like Mark Spitz. That's right. Like, and nobody Mary Lou. heard of Mark Spitz, and then all of a sudden, Mark Spitz, I guess, is the first first Olympic star. Superstar, yeah. yeah. That they really built up in... And, you know, it was like you heard his name every five minutes. We're watching boxing now, but soon we're going to go watch Mark, Mark Spitz swim. <laughs> and and um, right now it's the women's gymnastic. Uh, don't you wish Mark Spitz was competing? <laughs> <laughs> well, people like Peggy Fleming or something. Peggy you know. Fleming. Well, but, but really, bef prior to Mark Spitz, that was the first uh, media superstar created from the Olympics. I guess so, and the I mean, idea Peggy that... Peggy um, Fleming was really close. <laughs> but but really, you gotta go to 70. And of course, Olga Corbett was the same. Olga the same Corbett, guy yeah. As, as Mark, but uh, I mean, now uh, you're watching the Olympics and they're having, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, hate to, I hate to slam on a network, <laughs> like we don't do that on mm. the air, but, <laughs> That's not for but it, I, I didn't think it was possible, but apparently NBC is actually showing less minutes of actual sporting event per hour then they actually showed last last four years ago. <laughs> it's like there's there's commercials and commercials, but the worst part is there's all these darn videotape uh, montages, and now there's music videos. It they're doing so good at the montage. Yeah, <laughs> but now they're actually having the uh, all the athletes or the or the star athletes. <laughs> You know, pose. They have all these mm -hmm. shots of them in dramatic lighting. Yes, yes. And it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> what's the deal? And now there's the, like the best example. of This has been the gymnastics. That women's gymnastics. They're showing the the well, what used to be the Eastern Bloc countries. Uh, the unified. Right. The unified as I mean as the evil. You know, <laughs> as, uh, they are evil. You know, they have like <laughs> they have like. Like red behind them, and they're they're glaring yeah. at the screen, and this is like ah, <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> and now involuntarily, every time I see one of those athletes, I go evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> well, I suppose they want to use the Olympics to uh, whip up a a fury of American patriotism Patriotic and all of that. Hero. You know, yeah. we got to have something, but. Uh, which Olympics was it where they had the terrorist attack? Seventy-two. Thing? The same. Yeah. The same as Mark Spitz. Mark Spitz. The, the Mark Spitz Olympics. The Mark Spitz Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Munich terrorism. Not the Bruce Jenner Olympics. No, but the no, Mark I was Spitz Olympics. The Spitz Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> Spitz Olympics. <laughs> and after that, what? What? Did he, seven medals? Was that? Seven or eight? Seven. Okay. Seven, I believe, yeah. I mean, he just did TV spot after TV spot, and then uh, he just kind of disappeared from right. <laughs> the public eye, and the yeah. next time we saw him was years and years later, right. he was uh, selling... Um, Wasn't he on one of those Amazing Discoveries deals? Or something? I thought he was <laughs> a dentist. Well, maybe, but I saw him... If you know what happened to Much, Mark much Spitz. later, he was right selling... Why have he's cleaned your teeth lately? Right. <laughs> he was, he was selling... <laughs> um, swimwear in Florida or something like that. That's he had shaved natural. his mustache off and yeah. he just looked totally different. <laughs> <laughs> just like one of those where are they nows. <laughs> but we can't get out of here without talking about the sports show. Yeah. The ABC's wide world of sports spanning the globe <laughs> trying to find the most bizarre sporting events that the thrill of victory. The agony of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> the Agony of Defeat guy, which yeah. just recently, I guess they finally went in and changed the Agony of Defeat guy. They have a new Agony oh, of no. Defeat guy. Well, that, I think it's like, it's like a wrestler or something in the Olympics. I, it's something like that. No, the, just the, the Agony of Defeat, defeat guy, guy should go. <laughs> Well, actually, he's in, the anniversary he's show. He's remade a saint of fallen yeah. skiers or they, something. They actually had a, a special report in the anniversary of that show uh, talking about what happened to that guy, you know? He got hurt. Well, he got yeah. hurt bad. And he's like a local celebrity in, in, in his uh, town in Austria where, you know, you're the agony to feed guy. <laughs> oh, we could go like on a tour, you know? Right. <laughs> now we're passing the agony <laughs> of the feet guy. guy's house. <laughs> <laughs> If you look, you can see him waving from the upstairs window. Right. <laughs> because he's in like multiple traction or right. something. <laughs> but the one He wishes sports. he could really do this. <laughs> but they like used to be special because they showed the globe trotters and things oh, yeah. like this that you didn't see right. until Saturday morning picked it up. Right. Into a cartoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Well, the whole idea before that, I mean, no one had really tried to mount a show like that. That that was just every week we're going to be all over the world and we're filming stuff and we're videotaping stuff and we're doing stuff live. Mm -hmm. And no one, you know, everyone else said this is never going to work. You're you're going to, you know, like especially if you're doing live stuff from somewhere else, the satellite link's going to go down and you're going to be done. You know, <laughs> but it but it seemed to work. In fact, it did work. <laughs> I think it's one of it's probably the only sports show that I really ever watched. Right. Because it was on at you know kind of that dead time on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they usually had something. It was out of the ordinary. Right. Wasn't well, that, football, baseball, that was the thing that was always it was always trying for the something. for the other sports. Yeah. Right. Sumo wrestling. But yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no golf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name. Oh, Rune Arledge, the the, mm -hmm. the okay. guy who made this whole that whole thing happen. And Monday Night Football, he made that whole thing occur. Cause cause until then, you know that the because uh, apparently the NFL first had the idea of doing that. It wasn't the networks. And they said we want to go to Monday Night, and the other two networks turned it down, saying we're not giving up our valuable Monday Night wow, time. Mr. Arledge was <laughs> But Mr. <smart>. Arledge <laughs> said, "Oh, this will work," <laughs> but because it has, it's, it's not a sporting event; it's an entertainment event. That's <laughs> right. So we'll put in Howard, <laughs> the man, right there, <laughs> Howard, <laughs> Howard, <laughs> Mr. Toupee, and right big here. vocabulary, the vocabulary to put anybody else in the world <laughs> to shame. Only a lawyer. Oh yeah. Well, that's how he got that big vocabulary. <laughs> yes, so he so. could sit out there and say, "No, Your Honor, that says that quite." A <laughs> <laughs> Talking about entertainment sports. Remember when they used to? Uh, maybe they still do it. I just don't watch sports much. They take the World Series champs and the Super Bowl champs and fly them out to Hawaii. The superstars. And have them compete against each other. <laughs> in other sports. Yeah. That was kind of interesting. That was that. Didn't that happen kind of around the real people, uh, amazing animal kind of. <laughs> It's like, let's put these superstars out here and we'll make them, put them in a circus. Yeah. Well, they like have them do, do right like, around the Battle of the Network Stars. Right yeah. around that point. Yeah, it was kind of that. Well, I know I probably watched that because being from Cincinnati area, you cheered for the Reds. And right. Who was the baseball team of the 70s? Oh, yeah. The Cincinnati Reds. So we had to see the boys there on TV because... You know, it's like, we knew him. <laughs> like, All right. He's waving at me. <laughs> yeah. He'd hold up pictures of him at the TV. Yeah, yeah. Not quite. <laughs> but that was like, I thought, you know, just like the, I don't know, <laughs> strangest use of athletes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And, and it kind of showed, I think it was the beginning of the end for him, you know, it's like, We'll send you to Hawaii and give you a bunch of money. Hey, and like, okay. Oh, well, all I have to do is like be with my team and like wrestle a football player. Okay, okay. Cool, I can do that. You know. Right. No problem. <laughs> you say selling out. Right. <laughs> well, that's kind of like the whole thing behind boxing, in my opinion. Anyway, you know. You mean I just got to fight this guy and I'll get all this money? And hey. If I lose, <laughs> in fact, it doesn't matter when I lose. I still get a big pile of money. Right. <laughs> What a deal! They'd fight a lot harder if they weren't going to get nothing if That's they right. lost. Well, those, That's those right. amateur boxers, boy, they're killing each other. Right <laughs> there, out there. Literally. I really, I, I have to agree though. It should, in professional boxing, it should be all the money goes to whoever wins. You know, <laughs> the other guy gets cab fare. That's yeah. it. Yeah, we'll fly him <laughs> out here. We'll, we'll fly him home. I think they should just make all the sports like that. Okay, like you got a baseball team. Yeah. And it's like, okay, per game, there's this amount of money in the pot. Right. And the winner takes all. Right. Winner take winner takes the, the takes the receipts from the door, <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, and then those guys would like really run and like really play. Right. <laughs> and, like, I mean, really be now it's just like become a us. great big um, it's just a big money deal. <laughs> but hey, speaking well, I was I was thinking of the idea that um, you know, sporting events that were on like oh in the '60s, this was just a big time for that. Oh yeah. As um. Every every cigarette commercial in the world was right there. <laughs> cigarette <laughs> and beer cigarette. commercial, oh, and and also shaving shaving things yeah. and <laughs> shaving Jeff lotion. Davis was like the first athlete guy I remember doing a commercial, a real jazzy one with right. Joey Heatherton. Um, probably. Next, yeah. that's Zima cream your face. Yep. That's one that really stands out in my mind because it was so dumb. <laughs> Well, but I mean, they, they were these were just appealing to the male audience, right. basically. They, I mean, they they figured out now that uh, auto racing would basically close up shop if the beer companies pulled out. <laughs> oh, I mean, bad. they would they simply would not be able to fund the thing. <laughs> no one could afford the insurance or the incredible cost of the cars. And of course, now we have 
you know, commercials where it's like, don't drink and drive, brought to you by the Budweiser racing team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink hey, and drive. Hey, I had to have you with you before I got one of them high speed cars. <laughs> yeah. You mean I'm going to be driving 200 miles an hour and all those other guys are going to be uh, giving me a butt? <laughs> but you know, basically, the reason why they have um, all sports channels now is so that they can avoid embarrassments like the Heidi Bowl. Yeah. Heidi Bowl. <laughs> now. Here's the deal of the Heidi Bowl, for those who don't know. Was this a Super Bowl? No. Yes. I, no, 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 no. It was, no, a, it was a playoff. It? it was a playoff game. There was, was this playoff important game. important to those attached to football. Right. It was a playoff game in the late 60s. Late 60s. <laughs> and uh, it was on NBC, and I don't even remember the two teams, but the point was, one was a good deal ahead, and there was like five minutes left in the game. Mm -hmm. And NBC, the executive was like, hey, we paid to see Heidi tonight. We've advertised it. Well, show it. So it's 8 o'clock. Show that's Heidi. Right. So they started showing it, and there was a miraculous comeback by the other team. <laughs> and everybody was not happy. Yes. <laughs> and now you don't get to see your program at its at scheduled all. And time that's why. because of the Heidi Bowl. Because of the Heidi Bowl. That did it. The whole Heidi Bowl incident there, it was like a real... Um, a real great thing for people who who really liked Heidi or um, yeah. uh, well for like <laughs> kids Heidi like things. me who were like what nine years old maybe <laughs> yeah. folks who were into the uh, the arts thing the right. the PBS people I guess yeah. is <laughs> really oh yeah Heidi <laughs> Heidi <laughs> Heidi <laughs> well I followed the, the advertisement all week and I wanted to see Heidi yeah well see that was that was the whole thing but now it's like um, mom wanted to you, see we'll now just pull away from it that's from right they'll keep that sporting event on here until midnight and then right. we'll pick up your program yeah. it's raining and they're calling 72 timeouts but we're gonna stay with the game yeah, until someone drowns <laughs> or someone see, scores personally I don't particularly like baseball and so I do enjoy baseball in the summer when there's one when there's rain delay theater <laughs> Because it's always like, they always like rip out some bad sitcom or something. Or right, Cleveland always ran Hogan's Heroes for like uh -huh. four hours. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, just throw another episode of Hogan's Heroes. Well, it's still raining here in Cleveland Stadium, so let's go back to Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> I always enjoyed that. Yeah, <laughs> and me, I was I was always a movie a movie kind of person. So hey, I'd I'd sit there and I'd be like, all right, the movie, yeah. Well, well forty three was at least then was never that organized. <laughs> so they always had to do it in a half hour block. Pull out the Hogan zeros. <laughs> I guess I came from an extremely organized area. Cincinnati always had a baseball team. Well, <laughs> never had any rain, but always had a baseball well, team. Well, yeah. But yeah, no, we'd get a movie if there right. was a rain delay, but then if they started playing, you didn't then get to see done. the end right. of the movie. Yeah, it's <laughs> like you might, you might be watching the same movie two or three different rain delays, you know, and you're, you're still trying to catch the end of it. <laughs> hey, hey, that shows one again, you know, rain delay hey, movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you just thought the name of the movie was, rain <laughs> delay. <laughs> Ooh, we're picking it up right there in the middle of the jungle now, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh no, no, it stopped raining. <laughs> Well, um, you, you look at uh, pay-per-view uh, culminating in this darn Olympic triple cast thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I'm worried I might get sued by the local uh, NBC affiliate if I say something really derogatory t toward it, so I don't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know it's what? not a good deal. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't hey, matter. By, by, the, the, by the time you see this, the Olympics good, will be over I with. I think it's a real good deal if you can stay up 24 hours a day and right. watch every single thing. Well, you've got work. like like you know like rotating VCRs yeah, it's like right. exactly got, you know so you can spend the next four years watching all your footage <laughs> but I suppose if you can afford it then you've probably got those automatic yeah. switching off VCRs and you've, and you've got three screens so that That's you can right. watch each channel you know <laughs> <laughs> so heck that that nice little part that you got to pay and you, oh you can't cancel that dude either if you pay for it if you order it you've got it That's right you and, can't and cancel now this this uh, fall uh, ABC is going to take some of their college Saturday college games and put them in pay per view. <laughs> hey, there's an idea. <laughs> see, not just see gonna... I don't even see why, and and maybe it's because I did not grow up here. I don't see why college games are on. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this market, college games are on. College games are important in this market. It's true in a lot of markets. Eh. <laughs> I mean, I grew up, it was professional sports, or it wasn't on television. Right. The only exception was we did have a local Channel 9 that had BPA, king of TV bowling, every Sunday afternoon where the best of the local bowlers bowled it off <laughs> for 50 it? bucks or Why something. Why would you possibly watch bowling on TV? I don't because get that. Because we knew the people. <laughs> uh, well, you're personal friends of theirs. But 
<laughs> it's just like I mean, and, and they have a, like a you know a color commentator, a play-by-play guy. Like, well, well, what's he gonna do on this shot? It's hey. like, well, I bet he's hey, gonna. Hey, you know who Earl Anthony was? If, if <laughs> you know, only hadn't been on TV. <laughs> well, you know what's what? He gonna, uh, what's Earl, he gonna do? He's gonna hit the rest of the pins. What do you think he's gonna try and do? Earl Anthony was like the most. I used to watch bowling probably because I bowled. So oh well, I figured, you, know. you know, maybe I could pick up something. Maybe it would rub through the TV and I yeah. bowl a three hundred. <laughs> you know, absorb it. Yeah. Yeah. Watch, there was a guy, <laughs> Earl Anthony, exactly. who was a professional bowler, and it's like when everybody, when all the bowlers were getting mod and cool and wearing flares. Oh yeah. Hey man, Earl had the. The marine cut, you know, and the straight leg pants, and and then it's like as the time progressed, he was like behind everybody, but then his hair grew and he put on some flares, and it it was funny. If you were a bowling person at all, you remember this. <laughs> I think I think the thing that that got bowling um, watched a lot more was bowling for dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and every local market had bowling for exactly. dollars. Exactly. Corruption of a game. Oh yeah. Was great. And then they, they decided to branch out into other things. We'll have the dog races, and you oh, go yeah. and you, you go to the store, the local the local grocery store, and you get your dog race card, and if if that dog wins, you win. And, <laughs> and then there's there was the horse races thing too, and then then. They they finally said, no, gambling. we can't do that. That's, That's gambling. gambling. And then they start up the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> to help the schools. Uh -huh. Ooh, somebody's not going to like this show. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, we're going to get slammed for this one. <laughs> Who watches? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guy. <golly. laughs> Well, what else we got sports-wise? Sports-wise, let's see here. I mean, there's stuff on ESPN now. You really got to wonder, is, the, is this really sports? Beach volleyball? Yes. <laughs> is that really sports? Come yes. on. <laughs> Come on. I like volleyball. <laughs> it's one of the few sports I would bother watching. <laughs> Football, I don't understand. Basketball, pff, they're all tall. What's in the game? You <laughs> put, the, put the baskets up tall. about 20 feet, <laughs> right. and, and then it's going to be a game, you know? Or put then, it, when like, put it on opposite cliffs of <laughs> <laughs> Play it in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, like exactly. Cliff diving slash basketball kind of. Yeah. yeah. The bungee oh. jumping, cliff diving basketball. <laughs> that was one of the sports you got to see on Wide World of Sports. The cliff, cliff divers. divers. Oh yeah. And you always wonder why they. I used to wonder why they didn't get their brains bashed out. Well, if they didn't time it exactly right, the, the tide would be out. But but they and always timed it exactly right. We never got to see anybody. Get, well, they, I just watched they, they somebody would get hurt. You know, they always edited the uh, exactly. the dead ones out. <laughs> and surfing. Yeah. It, you get surfing on there, you know. Um, yeah, surfing. Dune buggy racing, uh, all kinds of neat stuff. Um, now and another another guys. sport that's like, um, I don't think, I don't know if it would do it as well if there wasn't TV. Really, is hockey. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't get to see a lot of hockey. Well, because it's it's I don't know it's not hockey no, season. It's, it's catching <laughs> on though. It's catching on here because I mean, the gee, doing we tried really to get well. game yeah tickets to see oh, the yeah, chill you, you and can't it's like get in. Yeah, you order those tickets in April if you want to go in December. Well, you it's know, like, whoa. Well, I had because, a cousin that see, loved hockey because he liked to go watch people beat their brains. Well, see, that, <laughs> that's the big attraction that of hockey. That was the attraction see, of hockey. The, thing, that the, the is trouble the with basketball and especially baseball and football is there's too many rules. And there's not nearly enough physical contact. <laughs> well, that's With because hockey, they have minimal ruled, rules. Lots of people fighting. They have ruled that's what the you want. physical contact <laughs> out. Time wrestling on roller skates. Remember big time wrestling? Yeah. yeah. Sport? <laughs> and what about, sport? what about sport? What about roller had derby? Roller derby. Oh, you can't, roller get, derby. can't get out of roller Judy derby. Judy the Jammer. Yeah. <laughs> and and they just recently had that roller games on a couple roller, of years ago. Now that was, was a which an which odd was, thing. With yeah. alligators and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there was like a flaming wall and all this. And <laughs> well, it was But of course now you've got the, the, the American gladiators, which yeah. is like <laughs> the, the, the whole sports thing rolled into, you too can be out here against the American gladiators. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like a, the, a, a game show for sports people. Basically. <laughs> I just that's, thought it was that's about it. They Ooh, come to basically. your town, and they come to your town. You can try out. Then you can go to Hollywood and go against the American no. Gladiators. Nah. It's kind of like kind of like superstars. You know, the old superstar show mixed with pro wrestling kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> but big time wrestling, the the wrestling is like. It's all like nation, national now. Right. But it used, oh, yeah. it used to be local. Oh, yeah. They used to have thing. local people. In, in the Cincinnati area, Rinks sponsored it. Oh, yeah. Rinks um, Department Store, right. which I guess there isn't anymore. Right. I don't know. They sponsored big time wrestling. There were two guys in corny hats and plaid shirts that did the, the announcing mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 
it was it was a Saturday afternoon event. Yeah, yeah it was around a here, pretty much. Pretty much. Hey, my story. favorite guy was flying Fred Curry. Just, <laughs> I liked Igor. He'd get up on the he'd get up on the ropes and just jump off of there. It was fearless furpo in my market. That was, it was fearless furpo. I don't know if like furpo come down. Flying or fighting furpo, whatever. Anyways, looks like we got to get out of this darn place. Well, by golly, that does next happen time, there. Next time on Vast Wasteland, it's another big grab bag show. <laughs> so you want to tune in for that? <laughs> so. For all of us here at Vast Wasteland, we'll see you next time. Next time. Good night, everybody. Be there or I Don't guess you're not it. watching. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland.